Well, new at six, an update surrounding the disappearance of this young woman, Kayleen Oling. Police just charged this man with sending graphic photos of Oling to her underage sister on Facebook. Channel 11 News reporter Liz Kilmer spoke with Oling's family. Yeah, they feel like they're being taunted. Yeah, it has been nearly a year and a half since Kayleen Oling vanished at 20 years old, and certainly it is hard enough on her family to not have answers. Well, now they tell me that her ex-boyfriend sent a nude photo of her to her little sister, and according to these court documents, he's now facing charges for it. I think it's absolutely disgusting, and it shows the caliber of person that he is. 46-year-old Michael Mano charged with corruption of minors and other offenses for allegations allegations involving the family of his ex-girlfriend, Kayleen Oling, the 20-year-old woman from Aetna who went missing back in January of last year. Her family, including her uncle Paul Young here, have no answers and fear the worst. The whole thing's horrible for our whole family, you know, most importantly her parents and her siblings because this is like a taunt. According to police paperwork and Kayleen's family, Mano recently sent an explicit selfie of him with Kayleen to her 17 year old sister over Facebook. A photo family members believe was taken before she vanished. At first, he sent these pictures to Kayleen's father, and then he sent them to her sister. So, you know. That wasn't the first time. Yeah. Her sister's dealing with it the best that she can. Uh, her and her sister were very close. We visited Mano's Penn Hills address to see if anyone was there to respond. No one came to the door. Loved ones are trying to remain strong. What they really want is to know what happened to Kayleen. No, we have no answers. Everything at this point is pretty much circumstantial. Um, so we're just, you know, trying to get all of our ducks in a row so we can hopefully bring her home at some point. And regarding Kayleen's disappearance in the past, county police told me that they do have suspects, but they weren't identifying them. We'll keep you posted on any updates we receive. Back to you.